Hey, what's up guys? I'm TPV Robinizer and welcome to another episode of Unmons and Ubers. So, uh, I haven't really done these in a while, but I am going to give it another try. I've been laddering a little bit in Ubers with this team I got here, and uh, it's been pretty fun. Because uh, I'm using this mod that isn't used at all in Ubers, so it's really nice to sort of get a change of pace and see how a, a different mod can start doing work. So, this mod is Mega Garchomp. It's not really great in OU, because compared to normal Garchomp, its speed tier is much worse. 92 versus 102 in OU is not great, especially when there are so many base 100s and base 95s floating around. So, losing the speed is not a great option in OU, and losing the option of running Dragonium Z or Fireium Z to uh, take out, you know, Ferrothorn or just get a big uh, big hit off of Z Outrage. So, without those options, Mega Garchomp sort of just uh, isn't great. It's pretty average. And normal Garchomp is just almost better in every scenario. So, it's not seen often in OU, but I, I think it's got a niche in Ubers. So, uh, looking at uh, its stats, it's got good stats all around, especially for Ubers. Um, 108, 115, 95 defenses is uh, is decent enough because it allows uh, Megachomp to take like basically any hit from Pedon, and uh, it can take usually one hit. Um, if there's ice coverage involved, it's much less likely, but uh, it can definitely take a hit, <laughs> a hit in the tier, while still dealing off a lot of damage and having a decent enough speed tier. So, uh, base 170 attack is actually really good, even for Uber standards, because when you're looking at it, you know, it's stronger than uh, Necrozma DM, it's stronger than uh, Ultra Necrozma, it's stronger than Eveltal, you know, it's stronger than Mega Luke. It's it's got just such a really great attack stat, like it's kind of hard to ignore, because it allows it to just do so much damage with the coverage it has and the dual stab. Uh, and then looking at 92 speed, it may not be great in OU, but it's very usable in Ubers because it can still outspeed um, some of the big threats, and that would be any Primal Groudon, any Primal Kyogre, and any Ho Oh. Which uh, just sort of lets it throw off earthquakes and rock tombs and sort of take care of what you need it to do. Um, its speed tier is also enough for Dialga, Modest Xerneas, Yveltal, and Genesec, Modest Kirim White, Adamant Rayquaza, and any Necrozma DM, which are all threats that it can si uh, pretty much uh, deal with. Um, you know, because they typically will run Modest, at least some of them. Uh, Xerneas and Iveltal will r usually run Modest, unless they're like a, a spec Xerneas. Um, but other than that, if they're not running Scarf, you're most likely going to outspeed them. Uh, Kiram White mostly runs Modest if it's seen at all. Necrozma DM, you're going to outspeed. Rayquaza almost always runs Adamant just for the damage boost. And even then, uh, anything it doesn't outspeed, it most likely will if you can get a Rock Tomb off. So... The decent speed tier, along with the great attack stat and decent enough bulk, is uh, is gives it a niche in this tier. It lets it sort of do, uh, run around and just deal off a uh, strong earthquake, strong dragon claws, and then uh, strong rock tombs for ho ohs or eveltals that try and switch in. And then uh, my last move is fire fang because ferrothorn is actually really good maneuvers, and fire fang helps me deal with it. <clears throat> Because I uh, don't have fire coverage, or I have fire coverage, but I don't have fire moves on my Pedon, which uh, makes fair throwing a lot harder to deal with. So throwing on the fire fang is just uh, useful. So next up, uh, first thing I said was, okay, I'm going to try and not lose to Zern. So put on an Acrosma Dusk Mane. So this is a uh, not, uh, I guess, well run set, uh, commonly run set. Um, so this is a mixed spideth and uh, attacking set. So this is enough attack to kill Xerneas after rocks with Sunsteel Strike. We can take care of the Geomancy Xerneas that uh, would sort of otherwise demolish this team. Because I have four mons weak to it. So this is uh, really useful at... <clears throat> really useful for dealing with that. 
Then it's also uh, one of my stealth rockers. It's got reliable recovery and then toxic for the Groudons. It also can bait in Groudon for Mega Garchomp. So it's overall a really solid option in my opinion for the team. Uh, next up we have uh, another <laughs> rocker and that's SD Stealth Rock Pedon. So this thing does so much damage, especially after an SD, that it can basically beat any defogger other than Giratina O, which I have uh, ways to beat. Like every single mod on my team other than uh, this and the Necrozma are going to be beating a <clears throat> Giratina O. So this thing really is meant to take on defoggers and make sure the rocks are up for good once I want them up. Um, so that's really the value of the Stealth Rock SD set. And it also just gives me an overall strong uh, Primal Groudon set because nothing wants to take a Precipice Blades even without the S uh, SD boost and then throw on Rock Tomb for Ho-Oh and Aveltal and they don't want to come in. So, you know, we got the Stealth Rock SD Pidon. Uh, next up, we have uh, Palkia. This set is, uh, this mon in general is not commonly seen. And when it is seen, it sure as hell is not a Lustrous Orb. It's usually Life Orb or a <clears throat> Psychium Z with Z Heal Block. But I decided I wanted an all-out, uh, all you know, attacker Palkia that isn't taking Life Orb damage. So uh, for those of you who don't know, Lustrous Orb uh, will boost my Dragon and Water type attacks by 1.2. So it's a better, you know, Dragon Plate, better uh, <clears throat> Splash Plate. So I'm getting boosted Hydro Pumps and Spatial Runs. And then I'm also uh, throwing off Thunder against the Kyogres and Fire Blast against the Ferrothorns. This mod is in general hard to switch into. <clears throat> and then, uh, so I decided it was sort of a good partner for Mega Garchomp because uh, when they're put together, they can pretty easily weaken a lot of different things because your opponent usually is going to have to predict and play around uh, Palkia and try and get in like a Xerneas bef uh, on like a Spatial Rend or maybe a Fire Blast but not a Hydro Pump. So... <clears throat> really, I like the idea of having two dragons that can both pretty easily weaken my opponent's team. Um, so, <clears throat> that's sort of where the rationale was. It's also a soft check to Primal Kyogre. And, uh, you know, the 100 speed tier is pretty good in Ubers, so I just put it on here, trying it out. <clears throat> Next up, uh, continuing with, I guess, the defensive core of Necrozma, Necrozma DM, we have Ars Dragon. So, uh, I like this Arceus type a lot because it's very unique because it deals with a weird range of Pokemon. It uh, it can deal with Rayquaza, you know, Mega Mens, Primal Groudon, Primal Kyogre, and Zygarde, which are five huge threats in the meta, but uh, no other Ars form can take all of them on, other than maybe Ars Water, but it, it doesn't have room for Defog and Judgment and Will-O-Wisp if you're running Ars Water. So this thing is the only mon that can take all of those on while still having room for Defog. So I decided it was going to be the team's Defogger. Uh, I have enough speed for Mega Lucario as with any other support Arceus form. And then, uh, yeah, I got Will-O-Wisp to wear down the Necrozma DM, wear down the uh, <clears throat> Rare Magirna. But, you know, Magirna's not a huge deal for my team. I have Mega Garchomp and Pedon. And then even then, it doesn't appreciate hits from Palkia. So, mainly this thing's here to be a check to the, you know, the Dragons and then the Primals. Alright, um, so, last member of the team, I'm really lacking speed control. So, uh, Ultra Necrozma and Mewtwo's, they're really gonna try and run through my team. So, I decided uh, Scarf Veltal was the best bet. Um, I like the U-turn initiative I can get to try and bring in my Mega Garchomp. And then <clears throat> I like the speed control with Dark Pulse and Oblivion Wing to take out those aforementioned threats. So I decided that it would be probably the best bring. Uh, my other option was Xerneas. However, I decided uh, on Eveltal uh, mostly because of U-turn. Because uh, I, I really wanted that initiative for my team but uh yeah so let's get uh, into the battles i'll put a timestamp. i know it's a bit late for that but i'll put a timestamp for 
anyone at the beginning. Oh, and we're here. All right, that was quick. So, <clears throat> looking at this guy's team, uh, this might be kind of tough because he does have a Lunala, and hmm. So Mega Garchomp here is actually not bad at all. Um, I might have to keep it normal Garchomp if he decides to lead Lunala, because I, I think I'm gonna lead with my Garchomp. But his two Rockers are both gonna be beaten down by Earthquake. Mold Breaker lets me hit through the uh. <clears throat> the Necrozma's ability and do a ton of damage without the, uh, I guess, nerf to damage that its ability brings. And I can also hit through the Lunala sh uh, Shadow Shield. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to lead Garchomp. I think that's the best move. I see leads Ars Ground. Oh, that's kind of tough. <clears throat> so, Ars Ground, I don't know if this is SD or support. I'm going to have, I'm going to guess support with Defog. Uh, I... I'm going to move the calc over here real quick. So, I think uh, I should be able to take a hit with Palkia pretty easily against our support Ars Ground. Let's see. Yeah, so I'm going to go, I'm going to get aggressive here and go Palkia. And now uh, let's see. He, as he goes for Stealth Rock. So, I am going to Spatial Rend here. Um, just because Groudon's pretty obviously going to come in. And Spatial Rend is going to do a good amount. Oh my god, it's a 2 at KO. I'm gonna click it again. Uh, maybe, you know what? Fire Blast might be a KO at this range. So if it is, I'm gonna I'm gonna click that. Uh, let me calc real quick. So this is looks to be SD Stealth Rock, or at least a, a similar spread with the HP investment and the special defense investment. So, Fire Blast looks to be a KO, or at least a roll in my favor, so we're going we're gonna to try that. So he goes Xerneas, okay. Um, Fire Blast was the middle ground between Spatial Rend and Hydro Pump, because it would have killed the Groudon or gotten Chip on this. But uh, that, that's just going to get us a free Necrozma. As he might uh, predict and go Lunala, but... Alright, 25, that looks like it could be Scarf. It could be anything at this point. Uh, my best play is probably going to be Toxic here. I'll be at 82%, which is still enough to take on Xerneas if he brings in something that threatens me. But Toxic is overall better if he goes Lunala or or uh, <clears throat> Pidon. So the Toxic on Lunala lets me sort of take it down pretty easily. It no longer has the Shadow Shield, which is pretty clutch for me. Uh, I'm going to bank on the fact that he won't click Ice Beam here. He could, but even if he does, Arceus Dragon won't die to it. As he does. Yeah, we only took 40%. And I think uh, I'm going to recover once and then... Okay. Uh, and then go back into my Necrozma. <clears throat> I was going to say Defog, but uh, I, I, I don't want to mess around with this Xerneas, especially because it looks like it's Scarf. Based on the damage it did to my, yeah, 27, that looks like it's scarfed. Uh, okay, uh, I'm just going to play this game. I'm going to go Arth Dragon on the Pidon. It's pretty offensive, so it could do a lot of damage with the Precipice Blades. But uh, I think it's worth it getting in my Arth Dragon. And, oh, he Stone Edge crit me for uh, 40%. I know I shouldn't be skipping turns, that's my bad. Uh, so a crit stone edge only did 40. Okay. That's still pretty offensive. Uh, I, I'm i going to defog. I see earthquakes and crits and kills. Okay. Alright, well, at least I get to showcase my uh, my Garchomp. Earthquake? I don't think Earthquake would have killed my Arms Dragon. Because it's, it's significantly weaker than, uh, than Precipice Blades. But... We got our EQ off. We got big damage. <clears throat> As Lunala comes in, this thing's just going to Ice Beam. And honestly... So, my Garchomp will die. I, sh I should have kept my... <laughs> my uh, Ars Dragon around. I don't know why I let that happen. But Lunala... To an Arceus Dragon. It did about 40%. So that looks to be max special attack. Um, it could be Z, it could be 
scarf, I guess, but that's not really a good set nowadays. So if I go uh, Palkia, I get a free Hydro Pump because he let his Pedon fall over, so I think that's the play. It's uh, It's got good enough bulk where I can easily take a hit and then click uh, click this Hydro Pump. And he doesn't want to switch into this because from a Kyogre, it'll take it decent enough, but then I get to throw off the Thunder. I should uh, import the team, so this is going to look bad for a second. But there we go. If he goes Arceus Ground, please hit. There we go. Pelkey is claiming an Oko. <clears throat> so getting that Oko is pretty clutch. Uh, this thing is very obviously scarfed at this point, but he can't really pressure my Necrozma too well uh, by <clears throat> by doubling because his Pedon is dead and his Arceus Ground. Uh, his Lunala or his Kyogre could threaten me, but they're not as big of an issue as <clears throat> as the Pedon would have been. As he does double into Lunala, good play. So, Lunala, again, is a bit of an issue for my team. So, he has to Z-move here to kill me. Do I think he's going to click it? I think he's going to... I think he is. I'm going to go with Veltal. Um, I don't necessarily need it to win. Because I can very easily kill my Necrozma. I still have Garchomp and Primal Groudon alive. So I'm okay with risking this to Veltal. As he does Z. Yep. <clears throat> and does 45%. Not bad damage, but... it, You know. Could have done a lot more with Ice Beam. So, uh... Now that his Shadow Shield is broken, Oblivion Wing, uh, it still doesn't KO. Not quite yet. But I should recover enough to the point where Ice Beam won't kill me. And uh, it's also the safer play in case he brings in the Xerneas. So I'm going to Oblivion Wing. Yep. <clears throat> so do I risk the Speed Tie here or do I play it safe? I always play it safe here. I win this game by playing safe. As he, <laughs> see Defogs. He misclicked. That's kind of tough. But, uh... Yeah, so we're going to click the Sunseal Strike here. So he goes into his own Necrozma. And, uh, I think... I'm going to go into my Garchomp. Because Garchomp will force him to Ultra Burst, or it will be able to KO him. And this is, like, not a position my opponent wants to be in. Because forcing him to Ultra Burst means my... Uh, means my Veltal is going to outspeed him, or he can sack a mana. I think this 2 it KOs, unless he's bulky. Yeah, that's going to 2 it KO. See, this thing is, it's honestly super strong. Even in Ubers, it's base 170 attack is strong. We're going to be able to kill things. So, claiming that KO against the Kyogre, that's pretty clutch. So, Lunala comes in. Uh, I am going to save this, because it's the, you know... Uh, we're we're showcasing it, so I'm going to save it. I do need to save my Necrozma to beat the Xerneas, and then I can sort of do whatever I want. Uh, I'm going to go into my Palkia here, and then uh, Moon Guys Beam does a good chunk. I'm sorry for skipping turns. So, uh, here the safe play is probably Spatial Run, but, you know, I'm going to click Hydro Pump. Why not? Oh, as he lets his Lunala fall over. And that should be the end. So this thing is going to come in. Uh, I don't want to risk a weakness policy, so I'm going to Hydro Pump again. I see Trick Room's interesting. So that's that could be pretty good for him if he is a Z-mon. But he cannot Oko my uh, Primal Groudon, so I'm going to sort of just let it happen. <clears throat> Primal Groudon's going to come in. Uh, Rock Tomb definitely doesn't KO here. So, uh, I'm going to click Prespice Blades. Earthquake isn't even going to do a KO, so if I miss it, it isn't that bad. Nice. Okay. So, Xerneas comes in, and that should be the end of the game. GG. Alright. Uh, we're not too high on the ladder, uh, but, you know, we're still getting... That, that was a quality game right there. So, let's uh, let's keep it going. Get some more Get some more games in. 10 minutes a game, eh, that's not that bad. <clears throat> so, I the reason I looked at Mega Garchomp is because uh, I originally was using Diggersby. 
Um, and it was only good on webs. It could not function outside of webs, but on webs, it was able to claim some KOs. You know, it's a strong Pokemon. So I sort of looked at Pokemon that were similar that I thought could function outside of webs, and uh, I came across Mega Garchomp. Hmm. Okay, so this is a Psychic Terrain matchup. This could be a little tough, but uh, I do have my Scarf de Veltal, which is insane in this matchup. Um, I, I feel like he's Terrain Extender. That's what the standard set is, but I really don't want to risk a uh, Scarf Lele, so I kind of don't want to lead with my Veltal. Uh, Palkia looks decent in this game. He does have a Lando key. Uh, I think my most expendable member is going to be Arceus. Uh, <laughs> Honestly, this isn't a game. This is not a game Garchomp can do much in. I'm I'm just going to lead with it. He leads Ars Fairy. That's tough. Uh, let me go Necrozma. As he Will O Wisps, that's not too big of a deal. Uh, I'm going to get my own Stealth Rock up because it's really uh, important for breaking a potential Sash on the Deoxys. <clears throat> this thing comes in, I don't know if it's a Rocker or a Defogger, but either way, uh, I think I'm going to go into my Garchomp. Or should I go into Palkia? I'm going to go Palkia. Lando T isn't uh, amazing in Ubers, as he does knock off. Okay. Uh, yeah, Lando T isn't amazing in Ubers because it's it's not as strong as it could be. It's speed tier. 91 is pretty good for Ubers, but it's just outclassed by normal Landris offensively. Um, it, it does have a little bit of defensive utility, but in general it's outclassed. Ooh, we missed the Hydro Pump. That's kind of tough, but it's bound to happen. Uh, so let me go hard into my Necrozma. He could double here, but I feel like I'm going to play it safe. What is my Wing Con? My Wing Con, I feel like, is definitely going to be my Eveltal. <clears throat> Eveltal can pretty easily Dark Pulse through 5 out of 6 members on his team, honestly. I just need some chip on a few of them. A little bit of chip on Lele and Lando. And then I need this thing basically dead. But uh, I think my best play here is Toxic on the Lando. Yep. So he's going to uh, come in. I get the Toxic off. It's going to be pretty important for the for the chip on this mon. And uh, I'm going to go Garchomp. Uh, it's it's not very good in this game. So getting that rough skin damage on the Lando is pretty solid. Uh, and he has to pretty much go Ars Fairy here. Because Lele, I'll throw off an Earthquake in regular form against him. Uh, and it should do a good amount of damage. You know, and enough to, you know, prevent it from coming in. If he goes Mewtwo, ah, I see. Ice Beam's pretty free against me right now. I gotcha. So, <clears throat> again, this is why Garchomp isn't very good in this matchup, because both this and the Deoxys are carrying are going to carry Ice Beam. But I think it's more valuable than Palkia when I think about it, because I can outspeed the Lando and the Necrozma, Whereas Palkia, it can outspeed them, but it won't deal with them as well. <clears throat> and they, they all three of them can't really take a hit. Well, Palkia can't take a hit. Or both of them, not all three of them, my bad. I'm going to let Garchomp go down. That's what my very jumbled thoughts was, uh, was saying. So, <clears throat> I think my Palkia can take a hit, but then when kill back... I think Groudon, or, uh, yeah, Groudon will be able to kill. But Eveltal is in general safer. I'm gonna U turn here. I'm not gonna Dark Pulse. He could stay in an Ice Beam. But he does go Arceus Fairy, which is the, the good play, the standard play. And now I think I go P Don and click Rock Tomb first. Because. Lando's a fairly obvious switch in, so getting a little bit of chip on that Mon is pretty clutch. Because, like, look at it now. It's going to be at less than 40%. Yeah, it's at 38% now. I could outspeed it in Rock Tomb again, but I'm not doing much damage, so it isn't really worth it. And uh, I'm going to go into my Arceus here. Arceus, again, doesn't... Ugh. 
doesn't have a good matchup. I just don't have a good matchup against Psychic Terrain. Uh, I didn't think about it too much when building the team because Psychic Terrain isn't a very common uh, playstyle anymore in Ubers. Uh, it's sort of fallen off, but it's still viable. So, you know, he's making good use of it here. So, this thing is weak. Uh, and he's almost definitely going to go into his Arceus. Or I guess he could be offensive and go into his Lele. But either way, uh, man, but if I lose my Necrozma, I lose. I'm going to Willow Spear to be safe. Yeah, get a little bit of chip on that Arceus Fairy. It doesn't hurt. So, I can bring in my... Should I bring in my Necrozma? I, I'm going to be a little aggressive here, I think. I think... Uh, but Evelt, I'm going to go Palkia, honestly. I think that's the sack here, in case he judgments. But, uh, and, or he could double, so... I don't know. I, I kind of made that play for nothing, thinking about it. But I do get big busted in. Uh, I feel like I should be able to KO a Lando T at plus two with Brock Tomb. I'm gonna I'm gonna get up rocks. That's the safe play. That's the safe play. Playing for my my wing con uh, of winning with Eveltal, just getting as much chip as I can on this Art Fairy is important. I wonder if Arceus Fairy is too it KO'd at this point. From from my Veltal. After rocks and burn, he'll be at 40% and it's a roll to do it KO him. A uh, safe play then in that case as he defogs. And he is dead now as a Landorus because once I get up my rocks he's gone. So yeah he lets it go down uh, I, once I get up rocks, I could have a, you know, a fun time with Big Busted Eveltal here. As he brings in Lele. Most likely to set up his terrain. And I think Necrozma is my play. Yeah, as he Moonblasts. Uh, and he doesn't like this Mon at all. Now that he let his Lando fall over, so I'm going to Morning Sun actually. I want to keep this as healthy as I can. He shouldn't be able to KO me at all. Like, worst he can do is Z Focus Blast, and I doubt that kills. Okay, so Mewtwo Y comes in. And I think Rocks are still my best play, thinking about it. Um, I should be able to take two Psy Strikes. <sighs> I won't take two Fire Blasts. That's unfortunate. Hmm. It felt all KOs from full, right? Yeah, it'll KO this. The Oxus attack was over. I don't need to calc that. Uh, Lele, Psychic Terrain support, takes 60%. So that's a 2 at KO. It doesn't want to switch in. But if he is Scarf, it could be a little bit of an issue. Uh, I'm down to 60 seconds. <sighs> I'm going to... I'm going to Morning Sun and scout what he does, and it's Calm Mind. <laughs> uh, regret. Let me Sun Seal Strike here. He can't KO me. I'll get uh, enough chip for Eveltal to still KO. Yeah. Yep, Fire Blast does not KO. I get my damage off, and he is now in range of Dark Pulse for sure. I could have clicked Foul Play earlier to try and take him out, but... That's the Ice Beams. Uh, foul Play would have been able to KO him, but that allows in the Arceus Fairy much more. And the, the Arceus Fairy is going to come in for free now. That's unfortunate. So I can still get up Rocks with my Pedon. Hmm. I think this is still winnable, just because of the fact that I have flinches, potentially, on my side. Uh, and we find out he is Terrain Extender Lele, which is very good for me because, again, I have flinches on my side. So if I flinch him once, then <clears throat> if I flinch him once, then we're we're good. All right, Arceus Fairy is going to come in. So yeah, Arceus Fairy should come in, and my play is not quite yet to sack the Arceus. I think. I think I don't know. Uh, 
man, this is tough. This is tough. So I need a Veltal. Which one is better, Pedon or Arceus? Pedon's better. Simple enough. Uh, you shouldn't be able to Oko me. Unless you're like Specs. Which it very well could be. Or he's Orb, which he definitely is. We're going to die here. Oh, he's Nasty Plot. Ah, uh, that's amazing for me. Kind of. Alright, okay. The Oxus is going to kill me. And then I get to come KO with a U-turn. Bring in my Pedon. And he can't... He doesn't threaten my Pedon at all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think Rox is the play to guarantee get rid of this Deoxys. His Psychic does so much damage. That wasn't... Mm. Alright, I guess Flinches is my win con. I shouldn't have gotten up Rox. I don't know why I did that. Alright. Oh, Moonblast won't kill. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. So I still have the potential win con of flinching. Because this thing can't recover on me. And I believe I need one, one flinch. One flinch. Let's see it. Come on. Well, maybe two flinches. Evelto is kind of... Ah, we did it. Or we lived. Oh my god, we lived! We don't Oko Necrozma. So we gotta flinch him too. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Alright, we need one flinch. We still only need one flinch to win. Man, this uh, this Psychic Tourney matchup kind of sucked. But, oh, we, we got it. There we go. And But we, we pulled it out. <laughs> We pulled it out with 13% on our Veltal and one flinch. Oh, close game. GG. Oh, man. I just needed one flinch. One flinch was my wing con. Whether it be on the Arceus or the Necrozma. And uh, I did end up getting it. So, alright. That tough matchup. We did get another win. I'm going to go in for another game. I only got two so far, but they were both about 10 minutes apiece. So, we're going to try and get one more. Show off Mega Garchomp. Uh, it did a lot in the first game, but in the second game, it just it didn't have the matchup. Psychic Terrain is too good against it. Ah, webs. Interesting. Okay. Here's the thing about the webs matchup. I can still deal with this Necrozma and the Pedon, but I don't have a good way of preventing webs. Uh, so Palkia... Is not great, but it's not bad. Hmm. Let me lead to Velto and go for the flinch. Honestly, I <laughs> I know I'm playing four hacks on my side, but Velto is probably the most expendable member of my team. As he goes Diancy. Okay, webs aren't up. Webs aren't up. Good. Uh, I expect a double here. How ballsy am I? I'm pretty ballsy. <laughs> As he stays in. Flinch! <laughs> <laughs> oh, is he rocks? He clicks rocks. Okay, all right, that worked out for us. I, I don't know why I didn't deserve that, but he went for rocks. And buddy, I'm gonna flinch you. I'm just that good. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. All right. Um. So I do have defog on my Arceus, which is pretty pretty clutch. Uh, because I'm gonna be able to defog on the Pedon or the Necrozma. All right, Pedon. I'm going to Dark Pulse. I don't know why he's letting me do this. I crit him. <laughs> the O code. Oh, my bad, bro. My bad. This is Arch Ground. I flinched him once. <laughs> oh, man. I didn't want to do it to him. Eveltal staying in flinch. Edge? Zero. <laughs> oh man, Evelto. You didn't have to do him like that, Evelto. Oh, here we go. His own Evelto finally comes in. So, what mon is there any useless mon here? My own Necrozma is very useless here, so I'm going to sack it. As he is Life Orb. Okay, good to know. 
Uh, let me click Toxic here just in case I live. Uh, I, I won't if he clicks Dark Pulse, but he could try and make a play. Or I do live because I'm Spit F. I forgot the calc. So we get the Toxic off, and uh, let me just click Sunsteel Strike here. Arceus, uh, I'm going to attempt to defog, but I, I mean, I don't need to at this point. I think I've basically won. <clears throat> but if I, you know, if I get the defog off, that's better. No flinch, defog. All right, that's basically that. That is game right here. I'm gonna try and give Big Garchomp the final kill. We'll get one more game because that one was this one was very very fast. Uh, Necrozma DM. <clears throat> I'm gonna EQ here. We're gonna do 75. Okay, big damage. Uh, so he's gonna. Ultra Burst here and try and pick up one more KO, I guess. So, we're going to go for the EQ. Try and please, Garchomp, get this kill. Come on, Garchomp. You're busted. Best modern Ubers. Ooh, we live the Sunsteel Strike. Why wouldn't you slow down, guys? Yeah. Whatever, we take those. Garchomp claimed a, claimed a kill. GG. All right, we'll get one more because that was, that was dumb quick. That was so fast. All right. Uh, so, this is a pretty... Pretty standard Ubers team. And honestly, Mega Garchomp is really good here. Uh, I beat I beat the Pedon, the Necrozma, and potentially the Zygarde, because Zygarde does not run Dragon coverage. Like, it just doesn't. So I can get a strong Dragon Claw off. And it's probably my best lead, considering what he could lead with. Um, and it could be Zygarde or Groudon, maybe even the Necrozma. But I don't expect a Xerneas lead. As he, as he leads Xerneas. Man, I'm I'm the worst. He got me. But I always go Necrozma here. Is he Moonblast for 20? 20? Uh, is that Defensive Zern? That looks to be Defensive Zern. Or it could be Zeomancy. Uh, Z Geomancy is pretty threatening for this team. So I, I kind of do want to watch out for that. But for now, I'm just going to Toxic on the Groudon switch. Yep, Groudon or Zygarde could come in, and Toxic is good in either. All right, so we're at 92%. We got to watch out for a Zeomancy, because that could be really threatening for me. <clears throat> oh, Thunder Wave, that's pretty bad for me. But uh, <clears throat> I'm going to Will-O-Wisp here on his Xerneas. We uh, we're going to find out if he's lefties or not. <laughs> cool. So. Defensive or Zeomancy. Uh, because he's defensive or Zeomancy, he can't really threaten out my Groudon. And Groudon is a better play in case he doubles. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go into my Groudon. Has he stayed in? I believe. To aromatherapy. Uh okay. Gonna double into my Palkia here. Okay, so he's defensive. That's good to know. Double into Palkia or double into Pedon? Or Mega Garchomp, my bad. I think Mega Garchomp. As he goes Arse Ground. Palkia was the play. <laughs> uh, okay. Hmm, this is kind of tough. This this is a tough matchup. Now, now that I know this is a defensive Zern. Alright, I'm going to try and recover here. Oh, this is really tough. So... My Arceus will be able to <clears throat> recover as long as he doesn't pair it twice in a row. This is interesting. This is a this might be a long game. But I do definitely have potential to just outright sweep him with a SD Pedon. Uh the I would have to eliminate the Mars Shadow and the Arceus Brown. But if I don't give Zygarde his uh, complete form then I can do a lot of damage to it with a plus two Prescus Blades. Oh, is he going for it? Okay, we got to recover off. Uh, this thing is very, very tough for me to deal with. I'm going to go Palkia and just click uh, Spatial Rend. <clears throat> oh, Necrozma. Cool, cool. 20%. Sort of went off uh, track there, but... Groudon can sweep uh, once the Marsh Shadow and the Ars are gone. Alright, so Palkia did 20% to a Necrozma. 
That means he is Spidef. Spidef Z. Interesting. Uh, unless he's like a I a Papa Berry or something. Which means I can two it KO him with Hydro Pump. But I'm losing a lot of health on my Palkia, and I really can't afford that right now. So I think the better play for me is going to be going into my Garchomp. C sets up Stealth Rock. And I am going to start Earthquaking. Start Quaking. Huh, I should have, I could have Hydro Pumped in there. Would have let me have it. Alright, uh, Ars Ground comes in maybe 40%. Yep. Alright. Uh, so Ice Beam is his play here, and I guess I'm gonna have to risk some. Oh, you recovered. Gonna have to risk some full paras here. What can I do to break this cycle? I need to claim a kill with Palkia. That's how I sort of break the cycle. So we do get our defog off, and I'm gonna attempt to recover. Might not go my way. I see crits me. Ah, that sucks. But Palkia can come in, and I'm gonna click Spatial Rend again. He goes Zern. Man, uh, I I keep thinking he's gonna go into his his uh his pedon. He has no reason not to moonblast. So Crosma's the play. She does double. All right, I'm get, I'm getting outplayed here. This is gonna be an L for sure. Hard guard chomp eruption won't kill. Definitely won't kill. Uh, I think I need to double on the Palkia. Yep. And uh, try and pump here. <sighs> or Spatial Red. I'm going to pump. Just because I think I can outspeed his uh, his Groudon afterwards and go for Spatial Run. Like, I I'm not going to predict here. I probably should, but I don't think it's the right play in this scenario. Yep. I needed to claim a KO. I needed to. Getting it on the Necrozma doesn't do too much for me, but uh, any kill is important. So, he has to kill with a close combat. That's the only way he kills here. Uh, let's see. So, I need my Necrozma. I need it for Xerneas. I don't need Garchomp. Garchomp's definitely the weakest link. Just because he has the Arse Ground. That's unfortunate. Spotlight gets uh, killed. Okay, so he's Life Orb. He does have Low Kick over Close Combat. That's good information. I'm pretty sure I'm all 120 base power, but whatever. That's good to know. Low Kick. So he's at 81%. Uh, let's see. Big Busted Groudon. Uh, looking at his team, I don't think the uh, my Groudon is my wing count anymore. I think I'm going to have to try and uh, just uh, get kills with Palkia. I think that's my wing count. Zygarde comes in. Yep. Uh, I did 59%. That's, that's a lot. I think you're offensive. Yeah, okay. Okay, so he is max HP and probably max speed, which is kind of tough. But I'm going to go with Veltal and hope he doesn't glare. <laughs> That's a bad play, but it's my best play. Yep, as he glares. And uh, I'm going to U-turn. Try and get in my Palkia. Because either I uh, get a slow U-turn to bring it in and try and kill him, or I uh, get momentum on, like, Azorneus. In which case, I bring in my Necrozma. Yep. Come on, don't get full parried. There we go. Or do I get in my Groudon and click? And click uh, Precipice Blades. I don't think that's it. Either way, I'm in a tough spot. So Necrozma baits in either the Arse Ground or the Pedon or the... 
All right. Uh, I don't want him going Pedon, but I do want him going Zygarde or Arceus. So I'm going to go into my Groudon and then double into Palkia. Uh, I need to make a play to get back in this game. That's really the only way I can bring it back. Has he stayed in? Nope. All right. Palkia custom set against Groudon Primal. Uh, looks to be offensive completely. Spatial Ren will do a lot, and it has a very, very small chance to Oko. He does have the Thunder Wave, though, so I don't want to risk it. <sighs> whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Spatial Ren. 98%. Thunder Wave, damn it. Alright, so... I still kill what I need to kill. Uh, that's the important thing here. I can still kill that Zygarde, and I can still kill that Arceus. Uh, I'm hoping he blades or earth powers okay that works uh you should kill with u-turn against this pedon and you do he can't really touch me uh, eruption doesn't do much unless he has overheat as well which you know could be a uh, the case uh hey uh, hidden power ice u-turn <clears throat> and my own pedon Uh, I think Necrozma is easily my next sack. <sighs> Palkia's got to come in on this or the Zygarde. That's basically it. Uh, he could Ice Beam here. He could try and make a play. Or I guess I would admit, uh, try and make a play and go Evelto. Which probably won't be Oko by Ice Beam, but we'll be to it here. Alright, Evelto. Judgment. Slow U-turn. I'm kind of liking a slow U-turn. Although I do risk being full paired every single time. There we go. So we keep our sack and we get in our Palkia for the pump, which can now not be stopped. Uh, Xerneas can come in and take one and then outspeed and threaten us, which is a bit of an issue. But we still get that damage off if we hit. 43%. That seems pretty specially defensive to me. Yeah, okay. So he's he's got Spadef investment. Max Spadef, not defense. Okay. Marshadow, good double. Uh, but you don't kill. You don't Oka. Not from full. And Sunsteel Strike will kill you. I think that's worth it. I, I honestly do. So I'm going to go for it. So Marshad is down, thankfully. And now I can I think I can win. It's still tough, but I, I think there's a chance. Uh, I My play is to Saki Veltal and save this. Because this can always... Uh, Morning Sun on the Xerneas. Uh, I'm going to U-turn again as he kills me. Palkia's going to come in. Hydro Pump. <sighs> Xerneas takes 38. He should easily be able to Oko me, so I do not want to stay in. And uh, I go Necrozma as he probably doubles. Oh, he does not. Uh -huh. uh, how much am I taking from an Arceus Grown? good amount but i still think that's my play and i think i toxic yeah okay okay all right kind of focused here so I'm not really talking too much but I pump here. I get a KO. On something. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. It's got to be either the Arceus or the Zygarde. Because he's got to go into his Zygarde. Or Xerneas afterwards. Uh, so. Uh, now I get to. I have to take a bit of damage from this. Zygarde. Complete. So I have to take a bit of damage from this, but it isn't that much. 
I think I'll still be able to take an Arceus Ground Judgment. Yes. So this is necessary. To t I need to take this, and I missed. Oh, no, that's GG. Unless he doesn't Oko my Groudon. Uh, I need to pull out Pedon. <laughs> oh, that's tough. It was going to happen eventually. But I think I still can eat. I think I still can win. If I crit. <laughs> Granted, I have to crit. Uh, That's so unfortunate. Man, that is tough. Here's the issue here. He kind of has to go Xerneas, I think. Yeah. But no point... Oh, okay, why did I click Spatial Rend? What the fuck is wrong with me? It doesn't matter. Because uh, Pedon will come in and kill Zern. Yep, and then RSC's Ground will come in. Aromatherapy is a good play. See, Roars. Uh, whatever. How much is your Moonblast doing? Enough to put me in range. RC's ground. Support. Yeah, okay, Rock Tomb's the only play. Alright, let's crit. Oh man, that para on Palkia is tough. Now, okay, 356 at minus 2 is 178, which is faster than my Palkia. All right, crit. It's my only play. And we got 48%. That is unfortunate. Huh, this, this was a close game, but it was a good one nonetheless. Uh, I didn't really get to show off my G Mega Garchomp. Ah, oh, man, I don't really want to end on L. Oh, this guy's. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I think this guy was mad at me for some reason. <laughs> or or he actually thinks it was a good game. But man, that yeah, that was uh that was fun. That was a fun game. Um and he is in the seventeen hundreds, so yeah, that was uh close, close. Um Yeah, alright, so I think uh, you know what I, I wanna find one more game. This guy's talking, so I'll stay in. I'll see what he has to say. That was, I mean, I couldn't win that one, so. Got to get another one real quick. I, I really want to end on a dub. And this is a game Garchomp can do work. This really is. Uh, Ho-Oh, Pedon, uh, and Scizor. Ooh, that's, that's great for me. In fact, I'm going to lead with it. Um, Eveltal is the only bad lead, and it could be his lead because, it, you know, it's a good Scarfer, but... Uh, let's see. Felt all. Scarf can't kill me. Orb can't kill me. Specs might. Eh, I don't think it does. Rock Tomb. I'm going to be aggressive. I, I want this one. I'm going to stay in normal form and Rock Tomb. <clears throat> Which means I, I don't have quite as much special bulk as I want. But I do get to outspeed him and find out that he's Orb. Defensive. Okay. That's kind of annoying. Hmm. That's actually really annoying thinking about it. I didn't expect a defensive set. Because he has no speed control on his team. He could be a Scarf Holo in that case. Okay. I'm going to go Palkia here. Uh, and I am going to Hydro Pump. Hydro Pump away. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Just as I clicked Cancel. <laughs> Oh, feels good. And I can spatial rend. Oh, Scizor. Good play. What would he get in on a fire blast? I don't know, but I'm clicking it. Rodon? You took 21? I mean, did you really have to play around all that to get it in on a Groudon? Alright, but 21, that's not 
a, a lot at all. Makes me think he's a uh, spit F. Oh, he's max special defense. Okay, max special defense. Good to know. That means he doesn't touch really my guard chunk at all. Ha, <sighs> alright. He gets a free Veltal. Free. And a rock tube. And a dragon claw here. It, it's doing good damage. He he has to roost here, and I could crit. I see oblivion wings. All right, I'll let it happen. Ah, as he goes scissor, well played. I guess I don't know. I'm not playing well. <laughs> you know, I'm just not playing that great uh, right now. Roost, whatever. Will o wisp. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, he could. He's probably gonna go ho oh here. That's what I uh, expect him to do. <clears throat> Evelto. I don't get it. Evelto, defensive, physically defensive. Evelto is honestly a great set, but he's oblivion wing, which really confuses me. Like, does he have dark coverage? Does he have roost? I don't know. Who knows? No one. Ah, okay, so Ho is at about 50. So is Velto. I want rocks up. I know that for sure. I know Pedon can sweep if I uh, eliminate Marshadow and get damage on this, of course. I need to save this. Let me go, Palkia. All right, I'm going to spatial rend. Good damage and Oblivion Wing gets so much back. He ended up with more than This is an L. Defensive Velt's all man. Not doing too hot here on the ladder. Why are you faster than me? What kind of fucking set is this? Honestly, I don't... Uh, damn. All right. GG. Three L's in a row. Three L's. One more. One more. Can't end on it. I can't. I just can't. If the video's an hour and a half long, you know why. It's because I stay losing, and I'm pretty bad. There you go. <laughs> oh, man. This is honestly really tough. The matchups aren't too great for me, and I, I guess... I didn't build too great for a defensive belt all, but when I'm using this thing, it's pretty hard. Uh, shuckle webs. Okay. Shuckle's a good web setter, but I have Necrozma. I have good mon Necrozma. Uh, and I am going to strike again. I don't want to set up rocks because I plan on defogging. So he goes Groudon. Sh uh, saving the Shuckle. I don't know why, but he is. Uh, Eruption should never 2 it KO me. Precipice Blades might, though. Groudon Primal. Yeah, if he's like physically offensive, Blades is going to be doing way too much damage for my liking. Uh, I think Palky is the sack here. I can sort of gauge his set. Is he's rock polish? Whatever. I can't Oko my entire team. Okay, it can when he crits. Oh no, 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 no. I needed that damage. I really did. Rumble Grind on. Uh not make sure of stance. Uh Grind on. I, ooh, damn, I 100% needed that damage. So that tells me nothing about his set, nothing at all. But if he's standard, 
if he's standard, he can't do it KO my, my Arch Dragon. So I get my Defog. And I get to uh, recover. Okay, so he's got some physical investment. Could be a hundred. That's probably it. Which means he shouldn't KO me. Shouldn't. Oh, he goes for Fire Punch. He's fully physical, and he burns me. This is unfortunate. <laughs> I'm getting really unfortunate this game. Oh, man. This is tough. This is uh, real tough. I'm getting slapped off the earth. Primal Kyogre? What? Okay. <sighs> Whatever. I'll judgment here. 27? I take 51. God damn. So he's got a lot of HP. And special attack investment. I think he's max HP, max special attack, but I don't know. Uh, whatever it is, I think the chip is worth. Definitely do think the chip is worth. Ooh, that did a lot less. That did a lot less. That's tough. That's annoying for me. Um, <clears throat> so here, I think I'm going to Stealth Rock, actually. So if Veltal comes in. Oh, okay. I'm losing this game, dude. I'm going to lose this one, too. I'm awful. Maybe I do. Maybe I will end it on an L. Ah, defensive. That's tough. <laughs> We're ending it on an L. For sure. Man, Ivelto is such a good Pokemon. 12%. That did zero. And he's defensive oblivion wing. Oh, that's the second person. And we missed the rock too. Oh, the game says the game saying get off. It's telling me not to play anymore. <laughs> He's weak as bones. What the hell? Uh, okay. And I'm gonna. I might die to it. What the hell? GG. This guy's better than me. The game's telling me to get off. It's telling me it's your time to leave. That did forty percent. <laughs> oh my god. Come on. Don't get enough back. <laughs> uh, GG. GG. This guy. <laughs> uh, the game doesn't want me to play. Alright, so. <laughs> oh, the game doesn't want me to play. Getting an unlucky matchup. It's getting hacked a little. Wow. Alright, whatever. I still That was a, still a, a fun live. Got uh, put down quite a few times, but. You know, I had a couple solid games. Even, like, one of my L's was a really solid game. I might, I might edit it to put in, uh, to put in the good games, which would be, what, like, the first four, maybe? I think I went two and two in those, and then that had the really good game. Yeah, alright, um, but that'll be it for you guys, uh, for this episode of Unmods and Ubers, Mega Garchomp. Didn't get to do too much in the live in general, but I did get to show a couple matchups where it could do some work, um, we got put down by those defensive Oblivion Wingy Beltals. We got put down, like, demolished, like, slapped off the earth. I should never play Ubers again after that. Okay, all right. I will see you guys later with some, like, WPL content, you know. And, uh, yeah, peace.